In today's video, we are going to figure out ways to play your drum fills in worship that do not take away from the worship session, but have the effect of adding to the worship session. Hello players, this is your boy Jay coming at you with another video. This is the hundred and second video. On the hundredth video, I didn't really talk, so we weren't able to celebrate it. If you would like to celebrate it, which you should celebrate it, hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe to celebrate 100 videos on this channel. It's amazing. Woo! I need to get myself a glass of water to celebrate. Yes. Okay, let's get into the lesson. So, today's lesson is all about fills that you can do that make your worship sound way more cohesive. They don't take people away from the service, but they actually usher people into the spirit, into the service, such that they can receive from God. Because why would you want to take that away from people? I don't know why you would want to take that away from people. But the title says, Backbeat Fails. So what is the backbeat? The backbeat is actually a beat that's at the back. Nah, I'm joking. The backbeat is actually the beat that sets the movement of the song. The snare is where you usually place the backbeat. In some other grooves, it might be different, but usually the backbeat is on the snare hit. These type of fills need to be centered around the snare, as in it goes and hits on the snare and continues and hits on the snare. And that is what creates the forward motion and doesn't break the flow of the music because the main aim here is not to break the flow of the music, but then to add a little bit of color whilst moving forward, if that makes any sense. So we are going to lay out a couple of patterns that you can use to compose backbeat fills. So we're going to get pieces of paper. Then we would write numbers on the paper. And here we have some patterns that are numbered one to five. One to five. And if we pick a number, we take the pattern and place it. Since we are playing in 16th notes, each set of patterns has four notes. So 16th notes, we have to put four of the four notes to make 16th notes. Four times four, 16. Math. So we're going to pick four numbers out of the hat. So this is completely random. I don't know the numbers we are picking out. Let's see what we get. Okay, we have one. Then we have four. Oh, then we have one again. Oh, then we have four again. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. So we have one, four, one, four. It's not too complex. Bear with me. Stay with me. It's not too complex. So we have two rows, right? So the first row, you can play all around the drum. The second row, usually you would play on the snare. If you can, it's not too strict, but if you can, play on the snare. What we are going to do is, we pick the first one from everywhere on the drums, second one from snare, third one everywhere on the drums, and the fourth one from snare. So two and four are on snare. Then one and three are anywhere else. Great, we are making progress. So now what we need to do is we play this whole pattern at 16th notes from the one back to the one. So with a click, just to practice, not to play. Now let's put it in music and see what it sounds like.
and as you can see it doesn't distort the music too much it keeps the flow yet adding a few more notes on top of it making it a bit more busy but still keeping the flow not going off okay so this is an example we would consider another example pick from the hat again another set of random numbers then we try that one out but before we do that let's talk about the drum chops build app i built it myself it's my own app I literally wrote every single line of code in the app. What it does is it actually helps you save patterns onto your phone such that you can go practice later when you do have the chance. So that's the whole point of the app. You can practice along with it. You can do a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so check it out. The link is in the description down below. It helps out the channel so much. So we're picking the next one from the hat, shall we? Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, this time we get a two, then a five, then back to a two, then a one. So as we did the first time, we picked the two from all around the drums, then a five from the snare, then the two back all around the drums, then one from the snare. So this is our pattern now, and we have to practice it, then apply it to the music. So let's see how we can apply this to the music. And if this is played well, it is supposed to fit in seamlessly with the music because it's 16 notes and you're starting on the one and you're ending on the one. So you just add a crash at the end, then you're done. So this is what it sounds like only on the snare. Then this is what it sounds like if you want to go around the drums a little bit. Yeah, so I hope you, you try out this formula, see how you can come up with different kinds of things to help improve your fluidity on the drums and stop distracting people while they are trying to pray. I mean, come on, come on now. Leave a comment down below, which one of the two fails did you enjoy the most? Go try out with the formula and with the numbers and everything. You would come up with so many combinations that if you practice will literally open up your vocabulary because patterns are really powerful. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new from this video, smash the like button. And this is your boy J Sticks. And stick with it. Stick with it. Peace.